Howdy folks, we're going to take a look at a new game and it's called Biotope and as you can see it's an aquarium simulator. So I did a little bit here, I went through the tutorial but I think we'll just go back through it so that you guys can follow along here. And so we're going to start the tutorial here and see what it does and let's see here. We've got install a filter. So I need to go to the tank editor. I've, we've got some kind of graphic glitch here. This is early access and the developers sent me a key so that I could make videos for you guys and so yeah we're gonna try this out let's pick our filter and this is the one we have so we're just gonna put it now you can drag it so you can drag it anywhere along here so we could put it apparently we can't put it on the back so let's try putting it up here on the side just so it's out of the way and then we're going to uh, turn on the filter so we need to go back to the control panel and we're going to turn on the filter. We're going to turn main. Now it's cool is you can do different. See, so you can do uh, different. Uh, where is it? <laughs> is it? Uh, let's open the nozzle all the way. Let me see. There we go. So we're going to go down, upward. No. There we go. Downward. All right. And see, I think if you. Yeah, I think if you uh, don't screw it up like I just did, I'm messing around with it. Um, I'm skipping tutorial stuff and everything, so why don't we just let it do its thing. And what do we need to do? So if you miss, go to the tank editor and select a nice background. Okay. Drag and drop to select a background. So we're going to pick a background here, and they only have one so far. Uh, I assume they're going to be adding more content. You know, there's going to be more of them across here and everything. But... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. And let me double check and make sure that I'm not blocking. No, I'm not blocking anything important up there. Okay. <laughs> so we finished this part of the tutorial. We're going to go shopping. And let's go to the Blue Life, do Blue Life Shop and buy five decorative stones. Now this has like a screensaver mode and that kind of thing. So you can use it as a, you know, a fish tank that you've got to take care of. Or you can just have it as something, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't require any maintenance. We're going to go to the shopping. And we're going to buy what? And buy five decorative stones. Okay, so we're going to go here. And we're going to buy... Let's see, we're one, two, three. It looks like there's three of them that we can buy. Oh, there's more. Okay, cool. So there's more, and I think you have to unlock them. Um, I don't know if you have to, like, blow up POIs to, to unlock them. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know how... I assume that basically when you get more advanced um, advanced uh, tanks and stuff like that, you can do that. I'm not sure if they do salt water yet. So we're going to buy that and that, 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 and we'll, we'll just buy five of them. There we go. We'll buy five individuals. Now you can buy two of each or something like that too if you wanted to, but we're just going to do those five. Okay, what's next? buy five plants. So we're going to buy five plants. Looks like we only have three options here. So we can do uh, two of these. Right? We'll do one of these. I love these things. What are they called? Fan wart? Okay, cool. I like these things. And we're going to buy two of those. And I think that's it. Well done. Okay. I like the sound effects for the thing. That's what they should do on Imperium for when you're transferring inventory, right? Uh, shopping tours by five neons. And let's go here. So we can buy, which kind did it say? It said Pyrochiridon or Hyphesobrican. <laughs> and let's see, is that all of these? Yeah, okay. Huh. Semi-aggressive. Peaceful. Peaceful. You know, I've always wanted to have a, um, I've always wanted to have, like, an, an entire tank, just an entire swarm of neons, and, and, uh, I, I went around the pet stores, you know, in places, places that sold fish, and tried to see if I could get, like, any kind of discount on them because they want like you know 350 for a fish or something like that and it's like i'm not going to spend like thirty-five thousand dollars on <laughs> fish to get a 
<laughs> to get a swarm of them, you know. Uh, buy a heater with at least 150 watts. There's a 300, 200. So what do they start out at? What was that there? 50, 100, 150. There we go. Okay, so we're going to buy that. Well done. You finished this part of the tutorial. Okay, cool. But yeah, this is going to be a nice, relaxed game here. Uh, I think you probably will guess. We're going to place our stones into the tank. So let's close this window. There we go. And we'll close that window. We're going to go back to our tank. And we'll put down our rocks. There we go. So we can just place them in here. Why don't we do... Can you turn them? I think, yeah, see if you use the arrow keys, you can turn them. You can rotate them this way too. Oh, well, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so we've got rocks here and, wow, those are big rocks, aren't they? <laughs> There's some really big rocks. Let's get this right up against the glass. There we go, right up against the glass. That's kind of cool, you can move them around too. See? You can move them around. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, cool! If you pull it, if you pull it back out of the tank, it—that's interesting. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna go like this and get it right up against the edge of the tank. All right, and then we can put this one. We're gonna stack it. If we can. Cool. And this is a small one, huh? We stack that one, and we'll put this one over back here. There we go. I assume it's going to have us put our plants. I think that was... Yeah, there we go. And let me see. We're going to put this one in here. It's kind of small. So we'll put it in the front. We'll put these guys. I believe these guys, yeah, they're kind of tall. They're pretty. And we're going to put these guys in here. And can you rotate these two? No, you can't rotate them. Okay. Just checking. And let's put these guys... Can we put them? Huh, interesting. You can put them between the rocks. Wow. Okay. I was trying to grab the rock, but that's that's kind of neat. That's cool that you can look from different... You can drag and drag different angles and everything. Okay, let's get this last one in here. I like the sound effects. Well done. Can we zoom in? Yeah, we can zoom in on it, too. Place acquired heater. Let's put our heater. We're going to put it... Wow. It's like really zooming in. <laughs> there we go. Switch to aquarium view and open the heater control panel. Okay, cool. So we've got a control panel for the heater. And on. And we're going to set it to 25. There we go. All right. I'm going to close that window. There we go. Oh, nice. It auto-zooms for you so you can see the whole thing. That's pretty cool. So we're going to activate time warp and wait until the water temperature has reached 20 C. Where is our water? Does it show? Does it show our water temperature somewhere? I'm looking. I'm not seeing it. Huh. Okay. There's got to be something somewhere that that we're looking at. No? Okay, place acquired fish. All right, let's drop them in there. Boink. Does it do that when you do this down here? Yeah, okay, I don't think it matters where you drop them. Nope, they all drop in at the same spot. I love the water surface. It's really pretty. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I'm really liking the, the water effects there, the lighting and everything. Really pretty. Navigate to the medications and find the fish food. All right. 0 0.2. 200 milligrams, huh? What is this? Water change. Okay. So we're going to do this. Okay, cool. Nice. So you can do different feed the fish. Not too much. All right. <laughs> and uh, what is that? Nutrients. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. And... Wait. Okay, that's the whole thing. Okay, cool. Let's fly. Collect experience and reach 
level one, don't forget to regularly feed your fish. So there we go, there's the tutorial. Now that's as far as I got before. I didn't want to get too much farther in the game. So let's go and see if there's anything else we can do. Tank. Quest available, happy guppies. Cool, let's watch our fish for a minute. I want to see, can we move, is this, get an overview? No, that's just the conditions in the system. Okay, so that tells you, cool, there's a bunch of new quests available, huh? Neon family, is there a way to, if we go like, no, that's not it. Continue. All right, and I'm wondering if there is a way Usage and controls, uh, aquarium editor, and quests, huh, just view, controls, right mouse button, mouse wheel, hold space key, icon view, okay, we can try that, let's try hold the space key, oh well, that's cool. So you can select things. Oh, that's neat. I like that. It allows you to select things that way. All right, can we can we zoom in and out? I'm not sure why it doesn't let us. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Statistics. Cool. See, there's screensaver mode here. So when you do that, the simulation is paused and time does not advance. Okay, so you can do that. But let's go to... So you can look at all the different, all the different, uh, you know, things. All the different uh, values have changed for that. So if you want to get really in depth in it, which is really cool, and yeah, I am not seeing. That's just the lighting. So you can also turn the lights on and off. Huh? Cool. And you can set the brightness on the lights too. So. There's that. I assume there's different fish that that don't like too light, too bright, or something like that, and stuff like that. Well, let's try more quests here. Let's go, happy guppies. Populate one of your tanks with a pair of guppies and keep them happy. Uh, stress level is below 50. Control the water, light, and temperature. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, what is this from scratch? Fish and plants can survive. Oh, I see. You get different. You do get different money for that too. And what's this one? Use the time warp. If your tank is unbalanced, think you can get out of control quickly. Yeah. Neon family. Okay. Apparently, they don't have the they don't have the English translation yet. Okay. Um, I think we'll try the. We have that completed. Okay. Let's try the happy guppies. Let's try it. Accept quest. Let's see what happens. And so what happens now? <laughs> right? Are we going to get an information thing? Is it going to tell us? Is it going to tell us? Information. What if we jump back out of this? No, that's just the that's just to the menu, right? Yeah, that's the menu. Okay. Um hmm, there we go. Quests. I'm going. There we go. Okay. Overview conditions. At least two guppies live in the same tank. At least two among hold these conditions for 30 days of game time. Wow. Okay. Well, we can try that. Do we have 81 pounds? Or euros. Euros, yeah. And I think that's euros. I'm not sure if that's... I thought the euros only had one little line in it. I'm not sure. Um, so I think we need to go shopping for a new tank. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, to buy a tank, right? Let's try it. And how much is this? Yeah, we might have to sell off the stuff we have in this tank. Let's try it. Tank. Tank acquired. And we're going to do a heater and a filter. We're going to need a, a filter. See, I think we're going to be out of money really quickly. A filter... And how much is a heater? See, I'm not sure how much, what size of a heater we even need for um, 
for a thing, but yeah. This is going to cost like a lot of money. How much are the fish? Where are the guppies? Cockatoo, dwarf child, here's the guppies. Alright, and how much are they? Four each. We need two, right? And then we need a heater. I don't know if this heater can actually keep. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out because we bought like the smallest tank we could, didn't we? Yeah. 60 centimeter. I don't know what these are in gallons. I have no idea. Um, because I'm used to I'm used to those units. So let's see what else we can do. We can buy some plants for them, right? We'll get them some plants and some food. Do we need any specific? I don't know what that is. Bacteria booster. Okay. And this is what growth tincture. Huh. Okay. It's like bone meal, right? You can bone meal the plants in the in the simulator. Okay, and do, 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 do. and yeah, I don't know all of these things. I did very basic aquarium stuff. I kept like bluegills and bass. They're very hardy, <laughs> very hardy. I did keep an angelfish for a few years, but yeah, most of my fish were like extremely hardy, uh, and I'd get them when they were like the size of a dime. They were teeny tiny little things, little fry, and I would uh, keep them in my aquarium over the winter and then release them the next spring when they were really big and healthy and everything. Um, let's see. And yes, I would put them back in the same body of water where they came from. I am not seeing anything that I'm familiar with. Is this, what is this, salt? Yeah, it is sable salt. Okay. Alright, I think we'll try setting up the tank. Let's, let's try it. So we'll go from the store, and how do we go to range items in the tank so to can we switch to a different tank can we switch to a different tank or what does that does that is that possible tank yeah I'm not seeing it I'll have to figure out how to uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to uh, do that so let me look at this for a minute and I'll be right back Okay, I found it, and we go to here, and then we see we switch to tank. There we go. Now we can... I, I'm assuming that this one is on pause now while we're doing the other tank. I really hope so. Um, so we're going to do this, and... What is that? Fish metabolism. Okay, cool. So this this will actually show you what kind of things are going on in there and everything, too. Cool. So let's try setting this up. Add, remove, rearrange things in the tank, right? So did we buy any rocks? We just bought some plants, didn't we? Tank. Let's do the substrate. No? Is it? Is it not going to let us put in a substrate or a background? Let's see. <laughs> Anything? Anyone? We have water. Okay, we do have water. All right, we're going to put this on this side just so that I can tell my tanks apart. And we'll do this. And then we're going to put in, we can't put the plants because we don't have, do we need to buy substrate from the store? Let's, let's check it out. Um, that's not substrate, that's just, ah, there we go, okay, cool. So yeah, we have different substrates, let's do this. Wow, it's expensive, $7.95, we have $8.18, right? We don't have a background, the backgrounds are expensive too, aren't they? Three bucks, three quid, something like that. Three euro, <laughs> three euro. I don't know why I've got pounds on the brain. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's something. Yeah, see, there's a really cheap. Let's just use some sand, I think. We can use some of this gravel. Okay, let's buy this, and we'll get our background. Sure. Right. Two point two. There we go. Okay. So now we can go back to the aquarium. And let's see if it will let us... Whoops. See if it will let us arrange things. Where is that? There we go. Now we can put in our substrate. 
There we go. See, we didn't have to do that last time. So we can put in our background. Nice. I like it. And then we can put in our plants. Didn't we buy plants? I thought we bought plants. We didn't do that? I could have swore we bought we bought like a plant or something. Something. Just the fish? Okay. Just the fish. Whoops. Probably don't want to put them in there yet. It's probably a little cold. <laughs> Whoops. Undo. Alright, let's go like... Let's go back to the tank. And we're going to watch the temperature, right? Um... Huh, interesting. So that's where the uh, camera focuses. So we're going to turn on the filter. There we go. And open the nozzle. There we go. Get lots of bubbles, right? And then we can go downward, straight, upward. Downward. Yay. And then we can do the nozzle... I'm not sure what the nozzle is on here, but you know, I would assume the out nozzle would be the input. All right, then we're gonna turn on the heat. We're gonna set this at, I don't know what they want, so let's start at 25 and we can reset it while we're looking. So let's go like this. Is it gonna be this? See what it tells us. Does it tell us anything about them? Does it actually tell us anything about them? I don't see any information on them. There we go. Double click. Health, stress, length, weight, oxygen. There we go. Temperature. So anywhere between... I don't know. That's 36 and that's 12. So I assume 25 is going to be fine. <laughs> pH. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. Alright. Looks like... Looks like, uh... Small changes in water parameters, however... Temperature, pH, and nutrient. Okay. Um, should be house fresh water tank. Okay. Alright, breeding box to protect the fly. The fry, otherwise they eat them all. Okay, so now we should be able to go back here. And let's see what uh, our temperature is. Info. Where, Where is it that we look at in order to see... There's our temperature. Okay, so if we go like this. See? 21, 22. Did I set it to 22? Or did I set it to 20? I think I set it to 25. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit, apparently. And we've got... All that. What is their pH? What is their pH preference? Let's look again. Stress. Okay, so they're fine. Um, probably want to drop it a little bit, if possible. But yeah. Description. We can we can even put them in now. We don't have to wait for it to get to exactly 25. So why don't we drop these guys in here? There we go, and let's go back to here and the tank at one regular speed, and we'll check out. Um, we're good on that. <laughs> There's like nothing in there. Poor fishies. All right, and what is this? Day one, week one, day six. Where did we start though? <laughs> right. Day six. Why don't we feed them? Info. There we go. Health, stress, length. Okay. And does it tell you anywhere how hungry they are? I guess it doesn't. So we'll go like, was that not there? And where was the, whoops. Nope, not that one. Where is the feeding? Where do you feed? There we go. And let's go, let's start with the smallest increment. See what they do there. This one doesn't. Is he? Oh, is he going up to to feed? Cool. Let's see. Yeah. Did you see that? They went up and fed. That's cool. Cool. All right. Well, I don't know how well they're gonna do, but um, yeah. And let's go switch to our other tank and see how our other tank is doing. 
I think it's I think it's been paused, right? See, I don't know, because it's saying day six here too, right? So I think when you do this, it it runs both. It just runs the clock, and both of them are happening at the same time. Okay, yeah, and it's nighttime here too. See the lights turned off because it's nighttime. See? All right. But anyway, I think we're going to, uh, where's that again? Let's go to screensaver mode. There we go. I'm just going to watch him run for a, for a while. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first look at this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like it, um, or leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more of this. And, uh, yeah. So I will leave a link to the steam page in the description and all that stuff and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video <laughs> later